Hi you guys, it's Miss Ashley. I just want to remind you that before you do acro today, that you're being safe and you're being smart. Okay, if you don't feel comfortable doing any of these tricks without an adult or an older sibling around to help you, don't throw anything you're not comfortable with or that you don't have room for, okay? Make sure you ask mom first, okay? We want you to stay safe. Hi you guys, okay, today we're gonna do a three and four year old acro um, class for you just so you can be practicing at home, okay? So just like all our other videos, we're gonna start, we're gonna turn our wrist backwards, okay? 30 to 60 seconds, remember? And you hold it, good. And then you're gonna flip them on their top. You're gonna hold it. Make sure you feel a good stretch in your wrist. Oh, not an owie stretch, but a good stretch. Okay, then we're gonna make our Hershey kiss. We're gonna crisscross, push those arms down and turn those palms down into the mat. Shake them out, shake, 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 shake. And then we're gonna do our shoulder stretches. So we're gonna point over at the wall, okay? And then we're gonna swim it across, and we're gonna catch it, and we're gonna hold it, okay? Again, you're gonna hold for 30 to 60 seconds, okay? Like count to 30, or senior ABCs while you hold it, okay? Good. And then we're gonna bring those arms down, and then you're gonna do the other arm, we're gonna point at the wall. And you're going to swim across and catch it. Good. And you're pulling that arm in like you're giving that arm a big bear hug. Okay. Good. Okay. And then we're going to shake our arms. Shake, 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 shake. Good. And we lift our hand up in the sky like we're waving too long. And then we're going to just pat ourselves on the back. Good. Because you're doing such a good job. You're just patting ourselves on the back. So good. And then down. And then other hand waves to mom. And then it passes on the back. So good. Good. Then we come down. Okay, now we're going to go into our baby bridge. Okay, so we lay down. Yep. Our hands go by our bum and our feet stay flat and we lift our bum all the way up. Okay, we want to squeeze our bum so it's not saggy. We want it to be up nice and tall. Okay, you're going to hold that 30 to 60 seconds. Good, and then you're gonna come down, and now you're gonna to go to your tabletop. Okay, now you're gonna make a table. So your fingers are gonna face your toes, and you're gonna lift that thumb up so high. Okay, and if you're really, really good at your table, you're gonna do monster legs. Okay, so you're gonna squeeze your bum, and you're gonna lift that leg up, and then bring it back down. And then two legs, and bring it back down. See how JC keeps her bum nice and tucked up, so she's still in that tabletop? But she's working out her legs now, too. Good. Okay, go ahead and come down. Good. Let's see. Uh, now we need to do our rock and rolls. We need to do five rock and rolls. Good. And we squeeze really tight. Keep our chin in. Good. Good. And then we're going to go to Cobra. Okay, make sure you keep your, your hips down on the ground and then you look all the way up at the sky like you're looking for something flying in the sky. Okay, good. And then you're going to try to pick your toes up and touch them to your head. Good. You're going to reach, reach, reach. Make sure you're still taking big breaths while you're doing this. Big deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. Okay, that's good for you while you stretch. Your muscles need air. Okay, go ahead and come down. And then we're going to do five more rock and rolls. Good. Okay, then we're going to go over our position. So we're going to start with tuck. Okay, so our tuck position is you're going to sit. I'll face the side. Yep. You're going to point your toes and one hand will go on each knee and pull that head in. Just like when we do rock and roll, this is the position we should be in for a rock and roll. Okay, our toes are nice and pointed, our ankles are together, and we're slow, so tight. Good. Then we go out to our pike position. So we extend those legs out straight, and we reach for those toes. Okay, if you're not as flexible, that's okay. You're going to just sit up nice and tall, so you know you're strong. So if you're not as flexible, just sit up nice and tall, 
make sure you focus on your ankles being together and your toes being pointed. Okay, and if you're sitting up, make sure your back's nice and straight. Okay, then you're going to turn front and you're going to open to your straddle position. Good. And just like in dance class, we want to make sure that our legs are straight and our pinky toe is reaching for the ground. So we're nice and turned out. And again, sitting up nice and tall. Chin up. Good job. Okay, then we go to our ball pose. Okay, so that one's up on our toes. Our ankles are together. Our hands are right in front of us. And our head is tucked down again. Okay, this one's your ball pose. Okay, so squeeze in nice and tight. Good. Okay, now we're going to go to Tendu Devant. Okay, this is how we start our pre handstand. Okay, so we pick our favorite toe and we tendu it out. Okay, and just like when we do our tendus in ballet, our toe slides out and points really pretty. Okay, and then again, up nice and tall, arms in line. Okay, that's our Tendu Devant position. Okay, the next one we're going to go over is our jazz second. Our feet are in second position, just like in ballet, but our arms go big and tall, and we reach and lift that chin up so high, and that's your jazz second. That's how you're going to start your straddle rolls. Okay, okay, now that we're all warmed up with our stretching and our positions, we're going to warm up our bodies to get ready to tumble. So let's start with our crab walks. Okay, we sit down on our bum and we make that table again, fingers facing our toes, and we make our crab walk down the back. Good, keeping those fingers facing your toes the whole time, okay? And you can do crab walks as many times as you need to. Okay, after your crab walk, you're gonna do your walrus crawl. That way you lay on your belly in a cobra position, legs stay straight, and you pull with your arms. And you wanna try not to wiggle your bum, you wanna try to just drag your bum behind you. Good job. Okay. Our next one is our frog hops. Okay. So we start down in our ball pose and then we jump up and back to our ball pose. We jump up, back to our ball pose. When we jump, make sure you're really reaching big and tall and really extending that body, pointing those toes and reaching for the sky. Okay. We want to see how high and how strong you can be when you jump. Good. Our next one is our log roll. So we're going to lay down. We're going to start on our tummy. Yep. Our arms go up by our ears and our head lifts down at the ground. We squeeze our ankles together and we squeeze our ears with our arms and then you're going to roll to your back and then roll to your tummy. And you want to use just your tummy muscles and squeeze everything as tight as you can as you roll, keeping those knees straight, ankles together, and arms pinching those ears. Good. This one's a little bit trickier. It takes lots of tummy muscles. Good. Good warm-ups. Okay. Now we're going to go through our somersaults. Okay. So we're going to start with somersault tuck. So we start feet together, arms out. Again, we want to keep our body up nice and tall. Okay. Nice and pretty. And then we go down. We look at our belly button and we somersault with our toes and then in our tuck position. Tuck position. Yep. So yep, right there. Head goes down into our knees. Good. Okay, let's do that one more time. So again, we start with our feet together, arms extended, standing up nice and tall, and we go down with our belly button and somersault, land in, tuck. Good. Okay, after we do somersault, tuck, we do somersault, pike. Okay, so again, we start feet together, arms extended, we go down, we look at our belly button, and we roll, legs go straight, and reach. Good. So if you're more flexible and good at your pipe, you're going to reach all the way over. But again, if we're not as flexible, we're just going to sit up nice and tall in that pipe so that we can focus on our legs being straight and our posture being good. Okay, one more time with that somersault pike. Good. We go down and straight. Good. Okay, now we do our straddle roll. This one we start in our jazz second. So feet in second, arms up tall. Yep, good. And we go straight down, tuck our head, leave our legs out, and we somersault to our straddle position. Good. But when we straddle, make sure our legs stay nice and straight. Don't bring them in. Okay, one more time. 
Just a second. We go down and we push up our legs and straddle. Very good. Okay, last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start our pre-handstands, okay? So for these ones, we, we do start in our tendu de vent. So we pick our favorite toe and we start a tendu de vent. Good, okay, and then all we're gonna do is we're gonna do teeter-totter. So we're gonna go down and come back up. Okay, go down and back up. And down and back up. Good, okay, once you feel comfortable with your teeter-totter, you're gonna go down and you're gonna do a little hop and back up. Okay, go down and hop and back up. Good. Very good. Okay, those are your pre-handstand exercises to get you going on an L handstand so you can move on to your next level. Okay, remember, if you don't feel comfortable doing anything without mom or dad or a big sister or big brother or anybody there to watch you, don't try by yourself, okay? You need to make sure someone's watching you so you stay safe, okay? There's our three-year 